I'm watching Kevin Hart become a man. I watched Kevin Hart go through life. Yeah. He put it all out there on stage, and I feel like I not only know him, but I respect him because he never hid from who he is. That's the only way that I can do stand-up comedy. You're an actor, you're a writer, you're a fucking comedy superstar. One of the highest paid entertainers in the world, man, who makes people laugh all over the earth. I welcome the change. I welcome the fact that, hey, within time, there should be change. There should be respect. But you also have to also be real. You got to be real in understanding that the only way to get to the point of change is to understand the mistakes that are made before the change. I want people to understand that it's okay. It's nothing wrong with fucking up. You have to learn from it. On some level, okay, everybody's success is different. Whatever your version of success is to get to it, information from someone that's done it or that's partaken in it in some degree will only add to the value of your journey. It's only going to make it easier. It's not to say that you got to do what they said. With that information, you're able to process it, maybe use it, maybe not. But you got it. That's what I wanted to do. I got a hell of a life that I've lived full of ups, downs, and through it all, my mental has only gotten better because I feel like I've been in, I've been in a mental gym, a mental fitness that coincides with life. It should get better. It should, you should get wiser. You should get smarter. You should be able to make better decisions. And all of my decisions came from the massive amount of fuck-ups. And I can now share those fuck-ups. I can now share the rights and the wrongs in the way that I handle all of the things that I've done. Ultimately, if I were to give information, it's just to open up people's eyes. It's to open up your eyes to, to the reality of you competing with you. I want people to understand that we lose because we are okay with ignoring our faults. It's not until you can accept your faults, your bullshit, that you can grow and do better. We point the finger a lot. There's so many things that we place the blame on others for that are truly our responsibility. And it becomes a habit. It's a force of habit. So it's not until you break that habit that you can do bigger and better shit. But the game is to be better. How do I be better than what I was? Because if I do that, ooh, fuck. For me, I just beat me. This ain't about nobody else. I don't give a fuck about nobody else. I just beat me. If I can keep beating myself, pause. If I can keep doing that, then that means that I'm in a battle with the only person that fucking makes sense. I'm in a battle with the only person that I really want to fucking beat. And that's me. How are you recreating yourself? How are you constantly showing that you're growing? If I can continue to outdo me from the day before, then I'm ahead. I don't like not knowing. I don't like the thought of feeling of being content with not understanding or not wanting. That makes me want to fucking work harder. Discovery makes me happy. Like when you find different things to be excited about, it makes me happy. You know, when, when you put a cap on it, you're, you're putting a punctuation to it. And the, the ambition comes from seeing what's out there that can be obtained. When you see what's out there, when you see where people are really gaining wealth and knowledge from, the business relationships that you're able to acquire, the people that you're able to partner with and create certain things, different revenue streams. I'm comfortable with the understanding of Hard work brings great rewards. This is a reminder of the hard work and dedication that I put into everything that I've done. I'm not content because I know where I came from and I don't ever want to go back. That doesn't mean I don't want to go back to the city. That doesn't mean I want to go back to the people. That means I don't want to go back to living like I once was. I find a light in every dark tunnel. 
I will find a goddamn light. I hear it all. You, listen, when I tell you the weight on my back is so heavy of all the stuff that I deal with, and I'm fine. The reason why I'm fine is because I'm genuinely happy. I'm happy. And I'm not happy just because of the success. The success acts as a bonus. I'm happy because I truly know the definition and the feeling that comes with happiness. I truly know it. I felt it. I felt it when I said, yo, what really makes me happy? My family. These people depend on me. I provide for these people. That makes me happy. It's a force field around me. It's a force field around me because what matters, what really matters, loves me wholeheartedly. And when you have that and you understand that, you're unbreakable. I'm fine with being an open book. I'm fine with the good, the bad, the ugly. I'm fine being flawed. I'm fine with all the things that have happened to me that have been exposed. I'm fine with it all. I don't hide from it. I don't run from it. I don't avoid any of it. I'm fine. It's all right. It's a bed that I, I made for myself. I happily lay in it. And I'll be fine figuring it out moving forward. Sun don't stop for nobody, man. Sun gonna be up in the morning regardless. That sun is gonna be in the morning regardless. Regardless of how I fucking feel and how depressed I am, the sun is gonna fucking shine in the morning. And the nighttime, the moon gonna be there. And you gonna look up, these days gonna keep going by. So do you let the days go by and look up and you don't wasted a year doing what? My mom reinforced, you don't start things and not finish them. You don't quit. There's nothing that comes out of quitting besides knowing that you didn't finish. We finish everything. You start it, finish it. If you're gonna do it, do it to try and be the best. Not be better than other people, be the best for you. I was never allowed to quit. So now in anything I do, when I pick it up and say I'm gonna start it, I gotta finish it. It all don't work. It all ain't the best. It all ain't knocked out the park. But I walk away saying I finished it. I did it.